Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rowlet, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Now, as you may notice, we are using the face cam right now because my dumb dumb ass forgot to turn off the camera last night when I was recording, or yesterday rather, uh, when I was recording the videos for you guys yesterday. I forgot to turn off the camera and all the battery is gone, so now I'm putting it in charge mode down under my freaking table here. So it's getting charged, which means, yeah, today, guys. For these videos, we're going to have to use this bad boy, which is going to be pretty disappointing because we bought a new camera for a reason, but we can't use it now because batteries are trash. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Waffle Rowlet, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy yourselves today because we got a few rumors, lads. We've got a few rumors. We're going to be doing two rumors in this video. We've got another video doing a few rumors. Today's going to be a lot of videos. I'm just going to tell you right now. This is probably going to be the first one you'll see today, but we're going to have a lot of content today, guys, specifically because there's been a bunch of things I haven't been able to cover and also I want to do a video about the graphics discussion that's you know surrounding Pokemon Sword and Shield and you know uh, comparing it to the previous Pokemon games and I kind of want to do a discussion about that I got a few images doing a bit of comparison and that sort of stuff so yeah I thought we'd do that and yeah I thought it'd be fun either way let's get right into the actual information here today so we got this rumor right here we're going to be covering this one including this one and another one uh, I thought we'd cover these and talk about them real quick because uh, they, they mentioned a few things that I thought would be worth you know kind of bringing up because um they kind of repeat some info from other ones, and then of course we have this rumor here as well, which I thought would just be quick to go through. So yeah, we'll start with the big one then first of all, because it's pretty big and um, like, I don't know, it's it's weird, because I, it's kind of like, again, uh, you know what I mean? There's so many of these things, you know what I mean? And this one feels just super fake, if I'm going to be honest. And the reason for that is the literal name of the post is their, their leaks, if you believe them to be, and then the guy's called your friendly neighborhood leaker. Like, this just feels fake to begin with. Uh, as for this one, this one's slightly shorter, and I don't know. But uh, as for this one, though, let's just read through it, though, which is that 90 new Pokemon, three legendaries, three mythicals. Again, just one of those list kind of rumors, you know what I mean? We've seen a bunch of these. It's not really anything crazy about this one in particular that's different. Uh, legendary Pokemon are not wolves, but chimeras with the head of a wolf. Each version has a different form. Now, chimeras are kind of like fusions between two different, you know, or yeah, two, two different creatures, I guess. Um... So that's not surprising. Uh, each version has a different form, alright. Uh, sword version is a humanoid lizard and has a sleek and agile body. It has a lot of emphasis on its attack and speed, dark slash dragon type. See, this is another one of those things, right? Like, when have we last seen a Pokemon that's like, you know, like, like a legendary, you know what I mean? That's like had, um... A typing that that's that's that unique and interesting you know what i mean like dark dragon sounds a lot of fun i've got to be honest it sounds like a lot of fun to be using but like when are we when was the last time we actually saw something that intense right i mean like it's it just i don't know man it's a little bit out of the ordinary shield version is a bulky turtle pokemon with emphasis on restoration and defense steel dragon type all right so there is a wolf chimera what okay i'm confused right now so there's three mythicals right three mythicals and three legendaries is what he's saying here um the third legendary is a fighting fairy type kangaroo Pokemon. Okay, this is where I'm losing faith again, man. Really, a kangaroo? Whatever. Uh, mythicals are fairy water dolphin and a fairy ground fox and a fairy flying magpie. See, that's the thing, right? I want to search up what a magpie is because I've heard this word before. But what is a magpie? Oh, it's... Oh, it's... Uh, Kuroka, oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess that that's what this is. Yeah, it's just, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So it's like a croaker. Yeah, it's like a Swedish croaker. Yeah, we have a bunch of these magpie-esque looking birds in, in Sweden. There's a bunch of these, so that's not surprising. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm looking at, but it's just I'm looking at like a picture of a magpie, which I guess most of you probably know because you know English better than me, so good for you. But uh, there it is what we're talking about. That's what a magpie is. I didn't know that because I don't know like English words for like birds and shit like that, so yeah. Uh, playable characters are called Sophie and Adam, which would be good names because they they fit they fit well with the you know the region, the characters, the way they look and all that. It does fit in well. I'm gonna be honest. Now two professors, Hawthorne and Holly. Ooh, okay. Um, isn't the YouTuber called like Pokemon Trainer Holly or something like that? I think. So, I don't know. Uh, but Hawthorne seems like I mean, <sighs> Hawthorne tree. Is that an actual thing? So um, yeah, that's a, Hawthorne is an actual tree. Which, that, that makes sense, right? But Holly. Holly Tree is an actual thing as well. Jan ex slicted. Oh, okay. So it's a type of tree. Holly. Yeah, we've read this one before. We've seen we've seen this exact one mentioned before. Um, yeah, so that makes sense. Hawthorne and Holly would make sense as names. And again, there is a reasoning for why there could be two professors. I mean, if you guys remember the actual image of the map, which I'll bring up right here. Um... Like, if I bring it up here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, the actual map shows that there are two different... Uh, we've got down here. 
Oh, actually, we can see it right here. See? Wait, if we go back in the trailer. Uh, once it, like, replays here, I'll show it to you guys. But, uh, right down here, see? You got one part right down here, which I'm gonna, like, point out. This right here looks to be one professor's lab, and this one looks to be another professor's lab. If you go back up to the trailer, and we actually play it, and we just lower the audio, because otherwise we'll get into, uh, YouTube trouble. Right there, see? that? That's right there, if you go back again. Um, let's see, where is it exactly? Uh, I think it's about right here. That right there is, I think, is going to be one professor's lab, because look at outside, you got, like, a battling area which i assume you're gonna battle your your rival or something or even maybe the the professor and try to like you know learn how to pokemon battle and all that uh, so you got that right there you got that professor's lab right there and seemingly if we go back to the start of the trailer here right now there's another one right there see there seems to be two different uh professor's labs or two like labs for pokemon research in this starting town and as you know that tends to be usually like one uh for the most part like i can't remember if we've had any game where we in particular had like two different professors you know at the same time simultaneously you know being active like this in two different labs in the exact same city i can't recall but um i'm pretty sure that this could mean that we are going to get two professors which is a high po highly possible thing and again we've already kind of talked about that for a minute uh we did kind of bring that up uh, a few times in the past so it wouldn't be surprising if the person here who's like making this rumor uh, whoever like put this out you know, it wouldn't be surprising if they kind of used something as a basis here, like, you know, just some other rumors they've heard for a basis to this. So, anything is possible. Now, two new evolutions. Steel-type Titanion, okay, and Poison-type Coro Corrosion. So, Corrosion and Titanium, alright. Uh, Titanion makes sense. Uh, special area be uh, becomes unlocked after defeating the fourth the fourth gym. In this area, you can obtain a one-of-a-kind Eevee or Pikachu. They both have their hidden abilities, alright. Mega Evolution is fully available after the Elite Four, however, the Mega Stones for the Kanto starters are available before then, starting with the Charizard, Charizardite X and Y. Wait, 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 wait. So, Mega Evolution is fully available after the Elite Four. Okay, however, the Mega Stones for the Kanto starters are available before then, starting with the Charizardite X and Y. Hmm. This actually seems reasonable. This actually seems reasonable. This is one of those rumors I don't usually believe, like, because, like, look at the name of the post. It could be, it's clearly just seeming to be like a troll if you look at it. But at the same time, the time we got Let's Go Peak to Let's Go Eevee leaked, the literal name and the features of the game got leaked, was on the 1st of April by a guy who was seemingly sounding like he messed around. And that ended up being real. So anything is possible. This is why I cover these things, because you never know what could end up being real. And it would be cool, like, if you know something ends up being real here, and you're like, shit, well, let's go look at the first one that was about this subject. So, who knows? Now, the third legendary is a fighting slash fairy type kangaroo pokemon uh, mythicals are a fairy slash water dolphin and a fairy slash ground fox and a fairy slash flying magpie all right so the magpie would be a fairy slash flying uh fairy ground fox and fairy so mythical those are the mythicals really a dolphin a ground fox and a magpie okay here's the thing right i always want a dolphin pokemon i keep looking into this camera now because i'm used to looking into a new one um uh, i've always wanted a dolphin pokemon but bloody hell i don't think this is real i just uh, as much as I want it to be real, as much as I want it to be correct and real, I just don't think so, man. I just don't think so. I don't know, man. I just don't think so. Either way, uh, playable characters are called Sophie and Adam, two professors Hawthorne. Did we just, oh, we just read this, didn't we? Um, we read this a second. Wait, is this the same information, or is this like... Oh, yeah, we just read this, didn't we? Yeah, I, I was confused there, because I, I guess I must have missed the, um... I must have missed the implication of that. Uh, but, like, uh, let's see. So, this is the same information. Sophie, Sophie, blah, blah, blah. Mega Evolution. Okay, yeah. So, this was just a continuation. The Super Legendary is a Poison Rock uh, Ogre. Again, very strange kind of creature to be using in a Pokemon game. I mean, as much as I want to see these things, like, I don't think they're real. Like, his thing, right? They mentioned, I think, a Kangaroo. Right, yeah. Fighting, fighting Fairy type Kangaroo Pokemon. Which we talked about a second ago as well. I'm not sure why I'm bringing this up again. I just literally reread the thing. Uh, I already talked about the Magpie thing. Uh, and already talk about, like, the dolphin fairy, and you know, the fairy ground fox. I mean, we, dolphin just seems like something that's, like, a very much a wish thing that we want to see, because we still haven't had a proper dolphin-esque Pokemon. And a fairy water type would be great. And a ground fox, I mean, uh, foxes are cool, so I don't mind one. Uh, and a fairy mag, uh, mag uh, like, fairy slash fairy slash flying magpie Pokemon. I don't have an issue with that either. Um, as for the names of the, you know, professors, they seem to make sense. As for the Elite Four, you know, or rather the, the Mega Evolutions coming after the Elite Four, makes sense again. Uh, the pseudo legendary is a poison sl uh, slash rock ogre. You hear stories of its pungent odor and uh, wait, and are taken to its cave in order to catch it and stop it from wrecking the city. Which city? Uh, after returning to the ma mayor of the city, um, he rewards you with a big nugget and six fresh waters. Several characters return. Well, that's very specific. Okay, that's very specific. Oh, you go, you go and take on this ogre because uh, that's a thing. You take on an ogre, you defeat the Pokemon, and you get a nugget and six fresh waters. That's very specific. 
Uh, several characters return: Cynthia, Looker, Annabelle, Mina, Lorelei, and uh, and to name a few. A red herring Pokemon. New info coming within the next few weeks. Stay tuned. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't think so, buddy. I don't know. I didn't believe in this one. Uh, it's just, it, there's too many inconsistencies. For example, like, there's so much detail here, but then there's a lack of detail in some of the other areas. Like, you know, just, I don't know. It just feels very strange. Like, that, you know, he would just detail exactly how to get the Ogre while not detailing some other aspects of it. But I do like aspects of this, though. Uh, though 90 new Pokemon does sound pretty, you know, eh, you know, I'm okay with it, but it is what it is. Uh, now, next rumor here, guys, which is a short one. So I thought I'd cover this one as well, just get it out of the way, rather than doing a whole video about it. So here's what basically it says, though. Um, it's from Sword and Shield Intel, is what it's called, and it's from Anonymous, saying you have only seen three of the new Pokemon so far. No matter which one of them you choose, both of uh, the others will grow to become formidable opponents of yours. Two long-awaited Pokemon bearing the Dragon type will have finally arrived for the Pokedex. Their final battle of Galar isn't quite where on one might think it is, and after that, a beautiful reunion awaits. See, this is so vague. This is such a short and vague rumor. I don't even know what to, like, put into it, like, what what to say about this. It's just vague as shit, dude. Oh, yeah, two long-awaited Dragon Pokemon, Pokemon bearing the Dragon type will finally arrive to the Pokedex. That makes no sense. How can it be something we've long-awaited if it's never existed before, right? If it's a brand new Pokemon... If it's a Pokemon that we listen, listen. This is how this is what I'm gonna put right. If it's something we've been waiting for, right, long awaited, right, then does that mean it's something we have seen before or something we have never seen before? Is it a brand new Pokemon? If it's a brand new one, then how is it long awaited? If it's an old Pokemon we already had from like Generation Three or Generation Four or something, then how is it long awaited if it's already been in those games? Like, this makes no sense. Um, no matter what, which one of you choose, both of those will grow to be. This is just kind of like vague as shit. You only have seen three of the new Pokemon so far. Wow, you said so much. Wow, okay, yeah, you know what? You know what else? You know what else? Uh, grass is green. Did you know that, guys? This is so vague, I can't even... Uh, this is so vague, dude. I'm sorry, this is just so vague. Like, I can't even, man. Um, the final battle of Coral isn't quite uh, quite where one might think it is. What? So it's not going to be in, like, the, the end of the city, or it's going to be somewhere else. And after that, a beautiful reunion awaits. Yeah, well, that's, that's just great. I don't know. This one's too vague, man. This is just one of those too vague rumors. I just, I don't even know what to say. To be honest, like, I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of the video, though. If you did enjoy then drop a like down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these rumors in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you all in the next video because we've got so many more rumors to cover, man. Like, literally, there's so many. But there's always something for me to do this way. So, hope you guys enjoyed, though. Have a great day, and I'll catch you all in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen.